I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. I can't stand intros. Uh, hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a super fantastic day. And uh, as you can tell by the beginning of this video, I am doing the uh, heat treat, I guess, on my little knife that I'm making. Haven't come up with a name for it yet. Uh, we could talk about that if you like in the future video when I post that video. And uh, as I'm doing this video right now, it's in the oven, uh, doing the tempering stage. And the whole house smells like burnt pizza because I'm using the old uh, pizza pan in the oven method. Uh, it actually doesn't smell that bad. Anyways, let's talk about the, uh, the Bush Ranger. Um, I'll run a couple of clips when I took it out into the woods, made some coffee, nothing special, nothing fantastic. Um, once again, thank you to you, to you guys for uh, giving this channel some support. Uh, I'll, run the, I'll run the specs one more time. If this is the first time to this video and my channel, um, I just recently got it, and I uh, took it out into the woods, made coffee. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I put this little lanyard uh, type of thing on it because I found without it, because the G10 was kind of, not slick, but a little bit smoother than what I'm normally used to, I found it a little bit, um, I don't know, not as comfortable to, co to, to come out of the pocket. And in this method, I found the pinky, and a pinch, and it just flies open. Um, I'll run a clip of coming out of the pocket if you're interested. Um, I did a little bit of research on this. Of course, I watched a ton of videos like you guys, and uh, it seemed to be there, there were some common issues or common concerns, or whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I must be weird or something because I come across these and I don't find the same issues, even though that they show up in numerous videos. I don't know why. Uh, the one, the one issue, the big issue was the drop, the dropping shut. A lot of people were saying that they couldn't drop this shut because they're always cutting their finger. And yeah, it makes sense. I mean, if your finger's back here, I'm not really going any farther forward. I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary. I. This would be my comfort spot, but I am going maybe right about there. And I got to tell you, I don't have an issue at all. It's very comfortable. Uh, I, I've never cut myself. I haven't nicked myself, um, scratched myself, pricked myself. Um, I can, I'm trying to think of some more adverbs, if that's what they're called. I love it. Okay. Um, the one other issue I found on a lot of videos was this little hump over top of the thumb plate. Some people grind them down to make them level. Honestly, I just, I'm not really noticing an issue there. Yeah, I know it's there, but it's just not bothering me. I, I don't really use my knife in that position very often anyway. I'm, I'm down in this area when I'm cutting or if I'm opening a package. Uh, sometimes you'll, I'll do this lever chest kind of thing and again it I don't have an issue so I don't know if I held it here I guess it would be an issue but it doesn't bother me um, the other thing that a lot of people talk about is this hump on this side and honestly I mean I'm gripping this thing really hard like really really hard and I don't I don't have an issue at all it's the hump is actually right in the middle like, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. So, I, I don't think I'm going to do anything to this knife. Honestly. Nothing. Uh, the S35VN, uh, what you saw in the video out in the woods was as it came. I, all I've done is strop it. I've done nothing to the edge. Um, we can take a look at the edge. I will say that the edge bevel is perfect. Uh, this particular specimen, I put a little scratch right there. Um, the edge bevel came out perfect. I have zero issues. 
at all. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, the pocket clip. Again, I don't have any issue with the pocket clip. Okay, so it's sticking out of the pocket that much. I grab it like this and it comes open. And I'm a happy camper. The thumb plate. Now the thumb plate, this thumb plate is the exact same size as the on, on the storm cloud. And I did find, or I do find, that I just would love to see a little bit more jimping come around the corner. That would just be perfect. The size of the thumb plate, yeah, okay. If it was a little bit bigger, I'd get a better purchase, but it would probably affect, um, you know, it might affect this area in the cutting and the binding, but I don't know if that would be too much of an issue. I think the size is fine. I think cold steel, if you're watching, a couple of more jimps. I think I've mentioned that on the storm cloud. That would be awesome. Uh, the branding, I don't mind it. Looks fine. Looks fine. Uh, in that video, you saw me strike the ferro rod. It threw sparks like uh, nobody's business. The ergos on this are awesome. Again, especially in the hammer grip. You know, perfect. It's a very, very comfortable knife and very usable. Uh, I, I know some people have changed the geometry, the cutting geometry. Um, you, I think that's a good thing to do pretty much on all, all knives that you use in the woods. But um, I don't know if it's necessary all the time. I don't think I'll do anything to this. Again, I'm a sucker for a clip point, and this thing is a really, really handsome looking clip point. Again, they're not using the generic cold steel pivot screw, so it's a little bit different. I like that too. Man, I don't know. There's not much I don't like about this. I like the color. Not everything has to be black. Um, and gnarly G10. I think this is awesome. Uh, I don't know. A smooth black. I don't know if that's G10 on the backspacer. Uh, I haven't done anything to this knife. Uh, you know, if you've come to this channel before, you know I like to take these apart and totally customize them, but I don't think I'm going to do anything to this. Uh, Bush Ranger at all. And uh, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it at that. Uh, the house is starting to smell like uh, old pizza with uh, it was a canola oil on a knife that's been in a fire. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I hope to show that video very soon. Uh, thanks for coming out, guys. I hope this kind of helps some of you. Again, it's not a review. It's just some of the things that I like and don't like, or whatever you want to call it. Have a super fantastic...